What's going on YouTube, Geosnorik here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 17.6.1, iOS 17.6, maybe even iOS 17.5 and stuff like that on certain devices using the Pelrain jailbreak. The procedure is pretty similar with the previous procedures for Pelrain, but there are some changes on how you get Pelrain and of course on how you install it. So if you want a full guide on how to do this, I do have an article here on my website called iOS 17 up to 17.6.1 jailbreak. And this one contains everything, including the supported device devices for iOS 17 and of course you should know that iOS 18 is also supported but only on one device and that would be the iPad 7th generation over here. This is the only iPad that supports both Pelrain and iOS 18. So let's get into it. The Pelrain jailbreak keeps receiving updates so in order to get it now you have to go here to pelray.in, you press download and now you have a couple of commands that you can run. For example for Linux is this one over here, for Mac OS and if you have another type of OS for example Windows you're going to have to use a live Linux USB. We're going to do this on Mac though so I'm going to copy this one over here open the terminal and paste it like this so press enter you're going to need the password you use to log in on your computer and then you're going to get the installer like this it will fetch the latest version of Pelrain in this case it's version 2.0.1 and then you're done and now if you write Pelrain with one instead of I you're going to see something like this and you can choose between rootful or rootless now I'm going to use rootless because rootful is pretty much dead at this point it's more of a legacy option so I would definitely advise you to use rootless instead. Most tweaks should work fine on rootless and if a tweak doesn't work on rootless you can try derootifier in order to make it work. So to jailbreak the device now we just have to write pelray.in and dash l for rootless. Connect the device in normal mode and make sure that the device is unlocked. If you need to trust the computer press trust first and press enter over here and it will enter recovery mode right away. From this point you're going to have to follow the procedure from Pelrain here on the screen in order to get it into DFU mode. Now we can press enter when we're ready to go into DFU mode, I'm going to press enter and follow the instructions on the screen. Your instructions might be different than mine. All right, so as you can see, the device got into DFU mode. We got checkmate, which means that the checkmate exploit has indeed performed its function and it will boot in a couple of minutes. From there, we can continue on the device to install Cilio and of course the rest of the things. All right, so we have the device connected over here. What you would need to do is if you don't have the Cilio icon, which you will not have it for the first time when you jailbreak, you go here to Pelerain and then you go here to Cilio and tap to install it. I'm going to do that with Zebra so that you can see the procedure. It will do something like this and you will be able to have both the package managers if you want to. And as you can see now we have Cilio and Zebra. You open Cilio and you can now install all the packages you need. You can install the tweaks, add repos, whatever. The same procedure would actually apply to iOS 18 as well. As I said, there is only one device that supports it. So yeah, Pelrin does not work on the newer devices like the A12 and so on. For example, iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, whatever those are not supported. It only supports A8 through A11 devices, but on those devices you can jailbreak them up to iOS 18. So thank you for watching. Definitely check out the written guide if you have questions about this. Peace out.